What does it cost and what materials are included in the certification program? So it's going to cost $2,800 to get certified, $2,895 more specifically. And you might think, well, that's a lot of money. And if I compare it to, for example, I'm certified on other assessments. I'm certified on the Hogan, and that's a two-day program for about $2,500. I'm certified on the on everything DISC. That's a two-day program for $2,800. Um, let's see, the EQI, I'm certified for that two-day program, that's $1,800. And again, our program is $2,895, and it's a four-day program. And in terms of what you get, lots of materials, of course, different slides to use. There's the Introduction to Myers-Briggs Type Booklet, which, by the way, I recommend anytime you give feedback that every single person gets this booklet. We give you these feedback slides. Let me just, this third bullet. We know when people are giving feedback face-to-face, -face, you would use materials and cards that we have that are included in the program. Virtually, it's a different animal, if you will. And so we've included a set of slides that you can now use to deliver feedback virtually. We also have step two resources that are included in your certification. There's a user's guide that's in a PDF, by the way. We have near the bottom of this slide, if you're giving feedback using the MBTI step two virtually, we include a set of slides there. These are brand new slides that we've developed because of the virtual requirement that we are that we are in now. And of course, there's the brand new global step one and step two manual. Those who were certified even a few years ago, this is a brand new manual. I have it in hard copy. It's here somewhere, there it is. Uh, in the certification program, however, you get it in a PDF. And then continuing, there is the resource guide there's a workbook now that you get. It's a great smaller workbook that you can use to walk the walk through the steps for feedback. There are these nice feedback cards. Again, if you were certified even just a couple of years ago, you might not have these cards. Great way to help a person as they're going through feedback to hold on to something and be more interactive in the process. There's also this facilitation kit and other resources as well. Near the bottom of this slide, giving feedback on the MBTI Global Step 1 and Step 2 assessment videos, we actually have new videos that are available to give feedback so that if you want to prepare and you want to make sure you're saying the right thing in the right order, you can watch a, a few videos to help you then know how to do that. And then there are the Step 2 feedback cards. So lots of resources available.